Hi my friends. Um thought I would try out the uh Esbit pocket stove and uh make some bush tea. So give it a whirl. So here it is. Just gonna open it up. Um, let me see how many of these it says to use. Uh, it looks like there's a place for just one. So we'll see here. I suppose we can try one. Okay, it just kind of <clears throat> pops out of there. Um, and there it is. Um, try and find my lighter a minute. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, it's on fire. Now that my lighter's empty, <laughs> yeah, I think it was already. I think it was lit. But um, so let's put this over here. Hopefully, you can see that. Here's my wildflower honey. Put some water in there. Put that, maybe I'll... Yeah, that should be good. There we go. I'll put this brick over... Here, you can see good. Okay, now I'm gonna go uh, get some pine needles. Okay, walking through the woods. There's a deer run right here. <clears throat> Just sucked down a snowflake. Not cool. Okay. Here we are at our white pine tree again. And uh, there's several of them around here. Um, just wanted to show you guys the bark. It's pretty smooth. Um... And uh, once again, for those of you that didn't see my other bush tea, um, a good way to tell it's a white pine is by the five, the cluster of five needles, okay? So let's grab a few of these for our tea. See how it's burning there. Burning pretty good. I 
put up some bricks for uh, the wind. It's windy and obviously you can see that it is snowing. Again, yes. Three days of rain and now snow. But that inspired me to come out and make some bush tea. And check out the Esbit stove. See if it's worth the 10 bucks. Thought I would show you guys poor Bucky. Something took a bite out of my buddy, Bucky. Poor guy. Poor guy. Sorry, buddy. Um, some people wanted to know when I shoot my uh, crossbow and my compound bow at, and this is Bucky. Bucky. And this is just a big bag that used to have um, targets on it, but they faded off. And it used to uh, hang and swing, but those fell off as well. And then this is usually what I use to shoot um, my rifles and stuff at. Um, I'm going to buy. I am going to buy. Uh, I noticed in the Cabela's paper um, they have a cowbell that you shoot at. Um, so. It wasn't very expensive either, so I'm going to go get me a cowbell to shoot at. That would be cool. Um, show you guys uh, when I was setting, sighting my crossbow in. How I am shooting high and to the right there. It's supposed to be right there. High and to the right. Poor guy. Let's see if the tea's hard enough. I do believe it is. Um, it says on here. One cube burns for 12 minutes and uh, will boil one pint of water in eight minutes. Hmm. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. Looks like water with floaties in it. It's all good, I hope. Cheers. Tastes like water with honey in it. So Next time I'm not going to add any honey or sugar because I'm missing some sort of flavor. Just at the end, there's just a hint of a pine needle. Otherwise it tastes like honey water. So. Maybe I'll try chopping it up next time. It was good the first time though. <laughs> Darn Esbit stove. <sighs> just, just kidding. Throw away those little chafty things. Well, I don't know guys. Uh, maybe I needed to cook it longer. 
Maybe I'll cook it longer. Added a bunch more foliage. Cheers again. Okay, that's way better. It needed to cook longer, I think. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Bush tea. Okay, so there you have it. Bush tea, Esbit stove. Esbit stove, pretty good. Uh, took a while to get those buggers lit. Um, off to, maybe they don't get, do good in water, I don't know. You know, it is snowing out here, so. Who knows? Peace, my friends.